Here's some food for thought for you. Have you ever thought why your child's behaviour is triggering you? Why is it that when my child does X, Y, and Z, do I feel triggered by that behaviour? Or ever thought, why is it then that I feel like, hmm, that's, that's really triggering me? Because I have and I haven't, but now I'm doing the Jai Institute, I'm becoming more aware of when I feel triggered by George's behaviour. Now with me, not listening is a big one. Now when I say not listening, I don't mean him not doing something that I've asked him to do necessarily, because I, I do have understanding that if he's in the middle of playing or doing something that it is hard for children to transition from X to Y, what I struggle with is the sheer, just the nothing there no emotion, no no communication, just nothing. It, just ignorance, completely ignoring me. That is something that I struggle with. But one thing that I find hard is when George does something he shouldn't do when he knows he shouldn't do it. And something with the Jai Institute that I've learned recently is often that is because I find, and I'll say it in my head, this is totally raw and honest with you, I'll say in my head, oh my God, he's being such a child. That's so childish. Dysregulated me is like, yeah, that is so childish. He knows not to do that, yet he's done it. And regulated me is going, but he is a child. He is four years old. He may know not to do that thing, but sometimes he forgets or sometimes it's just like it is what it is because he's four years old right since we've deeper dived into that again through the Jai institute i have learned that it is because i wasn't allowed to be a child when i was growing up and that's not my parents you know this is no not coming for them in any way shape or form i feel like it's a societal thing, you know, children must be seen but not heard. That was a big thing. I'm 33 years of age. I had to think then for a minute. And that was a thing back in the day is that children would be seen and not heard and that you would sit correctly and you would behave in a certain manner and you wouldn't do this and you wouldn't do that. And if you did, you would be punished. And so when George does things, that's the label that I tend to bring out to him but in my own mind, luckily, I am able to regulate myself enough that it doesn't actually fall out of my mouth that I say to him, you're acting like a child, because that literally would be the silliest thing in the world. But it's because I wasn't allowed to be. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I would love to know if you really sat regulated, not dysregulated, because there's no point in doing it if you dysregulated stress or anything. If you feel calm in this moment and you have a moment to think about it and relax and all that sort of thing, Think about what it is that makes you feel triggered by your child's behaviour. Now, if it's not listening, is that because when you were a child, you were never heard? And you feel like sometimes you have to shout to be heard? You don't need to shout to be heard now. And you need to talk to yourself about that and you need to remind yourself, I don't need to shout to be heard my child not listening to me does not mean that I'm invaluable. It doesn't mean that I'm nothing and nobody. It doesn't, it doesn't, it shouldn't be scary and it shouldn't be something that makes me react like that. And if it's not that, what, what else could it be? What else is, you know, is triggering you? Your child's outside and they're, uh, screaming when they're playing in the paddling pool in the back garden you're thinking oh the neighbors the neighbors are gonna hate us why are they so loud why are they always so loud and so oh all the time quiet shh neighbors is that because you were told to be quiet is that because you were also told to be seen and not heard just something to think about